Hey there, welcome to Learn OpenCV. In this video, we will learn about image resizing using OpenCV. The OpenCV resize function is quite easy to understand. It inputs a source image and outputs a destination image. It also accepts the output image size or the scaling factors across the axis and the interpolation method for resizing. A bit confusing? Let's try it out on code. To follow along with me, open the Learn OpenCV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive the code link on your email. Download it and let's get started. We need OpenCV and NumPy to resize the image and matplotlib to display the images. Start by downloading and reading an image. The image size is 1280 by 720 and the aspect ratio is 1.78. We will first resize the image using pixel values to 300 cross 200 which has an aspect ratio of 1.5. Convert it to a tuple and use it as an argument for cv2.resize. Ignore the interpolation argument for now and we are not providing the scaling factors because the destination size tuple is sufficient. Next. Upscale the image to 1920 cross 1080. Here are the results. You can see how providing pixel values can change the aspect ratio of the image. It's easier to keep the aspect ratio same using scaling factor. And if you want to change the aspect ratio, that is also possible with scaling factor. This time, we need not provide the destination size as the scaling factors are sufficient. And here are the results. In my opinion, use destination size when you want specific image height and width. For example, when we input the image to deep learning models and use the same scaling factor on both the axes when you want to preserve the aspect ratio. For example, compressing the image. If these concepts are difficult for you to grasp, you should check out OpenCV University's free official OpenCV bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. When you resize an image, OpenCV has to add or drop some pixels. That's where the interpolation flags come in. Different interpolation methods change the way pixels are manipulated. Let's check a few of them out on code. We have two checkerboard images, 32 cross 32 and 3200 cross 3200. We get a range of outputs when we upsample 32 cross 32 to 3200 cross 3200 across various interpolation methods. Area and nearest neighbor interpolation look the closest to the input image. The time taken by these two are also comparable. However, bicubic and bilinear methods are blurred where bilinear is the default interpolation method for resizing in OpenCV. All the outputs look identical when we downscale from 3200 cross 3200 back to 32 cross 32 except for the time taken by area interpolation method. So that's all about image resizing using OpenCV. If you like this video, why don't you check out image cropping using OpenCV or other videos in the getting started with OpenCV playlist. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.